WGN's Rob Sneed is live at St. Sabina Church in Gresham with that story. Hi, Rob. Good evening to you. This is the weekend where many of you are going to be buying your mother flowers, cards, candy balloons. This is just a way to make them feel special on this holiday weekend. Uh, certainly Mother's Day weekend has already kicked off here at St. Sabina where you can see uh, there's a nice small group of women here because of course they're breaking this up because of uh, the COVID restrictions. They want to keep everyone safe, so small groups at a time. But right now there are so many sections here where you see mothers getting massages, haircuts, and some are even getting manicures and pedicures. This is a special group of women out here today. These beautiful ladies, many of them have lost their children to senseless violence. The organization Purpose Over Pain is uplifting these moms on a day when many of them feel alone or just need some encouragement. That's what Mother's Day is all about. And another Mother's Day celebration also supported pampered and uplifted mothers earlier today. Have a wonderful Mother's Day, okay? okay. God bless you. She gave you life. My mom's be turning 80 years old Sunday. And she just the joy of my life. And that's you're always your mom. Your mom is the only most important thing in the world. And to most, her wisdom will follow you for the rest of your life. Mother, I miss you and I wish you were here. And you taught me good, so I got your name, so I, I, I'm standing tall for you. And Audrey Harper says she's also being an example for her 20 grandchildren. It's a blessing to be a mother, grandmother, you know. It's a whole job that we don't get paid for. We get paid with the love and appreciation that we raise our children on. But folks with the Daisy Foundation and the Chicago Housing Authority say that just isn't enough. Today, kicking off this Mother's Day weekend. You have a lovely, lovely Mother's Thank Day, you. okay? I appreciate you. Thank have a you so much. It's a celebration showing just how much these ladies are appreciated. 200 moms. They all got a golden ticket in the mail. This is a day of pampering, gift bags, and beauty services at the Charles A. Hay Center on South Wabash. A much needed relief for these moms. The pandemic has made the last year a tough one. Job loss, medical, some of them have actually contracted COVID. So why not be able to give them a smile today? These moms lost more than their jobs. St. Sabina is hosting an event for mothers who lost a child to senseless violence. The organization putting it on is called Purpose Over Pain. Every Mother's Day is still hard because we wake up without our child. Founder Pam Bosley lost her son to rail to gun violence April 4th, 2006. He was just 18 years old. Bosley says seeing these mothers smile, helping them forget their pain for just a while is what helps her heal and move on. It uplifts me uh, to help others. So I'm glad to be here today to help other moms because of the fact I understand the struggles, the pain. Now what you're seeing right now, this is the second to last group of beautiful ladies that are here. The last group is gonna come. Group of moms will be here around seven o'clock. Reporting live at St. Sabina, Rob Sneed, WGN News.